This is the new Mazda CX-5. If it looks familiar, it's because Mazda does not want to change a successful formula. To me, it looks like a facelift, but Mazda claims it's an all-new generation. Is it now? The CX-5 turned out to be a key model for the Japanese car manufacturer. Five years after debut, it adds up to a quarter of Mazda's global sales. Mazda CX-5 found over 1.5 million buyers on 120 markets. Mazda CX-5 debuted in 2012 and was the first model to feature full array of Skyactiv technologies. The car was designed according to Kodo design language. Kodo means soul or motion. Mazda claims the anthropocentric character of Jinbai Tai concept, that is the union of horse and rider, is best expressed in the sphere of dynamics. Anthropo what? Over to Masaya Kodama, head of CX-5 project. The past Mazda cars are a little, t a little bit are focusing on the drivers only. I cannot say only, but drivers too too much pay attention for the driver but from the, the new CX-5 we want to provide a driving pleasure fun to drive not only to the driver but the passengers as well it's a passenger seat or rear seat what changed on the outside front part of the car is now more three-dimensional sidelines have been smoothed out and the shape is more fluid meaning well, for example, A-pillars have been moved 35 mm towards the back for better proportions. New Mazda CX-5 is 455 cm long, that's just 1 cm longer than the model it replaces. Wheelbase remains unchanged at 270 cm, but at 168 cm the new car is 35 mm lower. New equipment list now includes, among others, power tailgates. In its press materials, Mazda makes mention of the power tailgate so many times as if it were a portal into another dimension. I'm pleased to report it works. You can operate it with a key fob or a button on the lid. Boot volume is up to 506 liters from 503. The floor is now 9 mm thinner and tools have been rearranged, increasing underfloor storage from 10 to 30 liters. Rear seats split 40-20-40, backrest angle has been changed slightly, there are now AC vents, side seats can be heated. In the front, at first glance, not much has changed. Seats are new and allegedly more comfortable even during longer trips. The 7-inch screen is now easier to read thanks to raisin being embedded between the LCD module and the touch panel. Unfortunately, it's the same slow, unresponsive navigation which kept leading me up one-way streets. MZD Connect lets you use some popular apps and so-called connected services. For a subscription fee, you can also get live traffic and weather information, but that will require internet connection from your smartphone. Other changes include a new steering wheel with heating, wiper defrosting, electrically folding side mirrors. Generally, interior quality is top-notch. Center console is now slightly higher, as a result the gear lever is now around 5 cm higher than in the previous generation, but armrests remain at the same level. Cars with power seats also include memory settings for head-up display. These settings can be assigned to a remote key fob. Mazda claims it paid a lot of attention to reduce noise, harshness and vibrations in the cabin. When I asked about the most significant changes in the new generation CX-5, Masaya Kodama said, I think that it's uh, uh, easy, easy recognition of all passengers, including drivers' uh, noise levels and which performance. It's, it's clearly uh, improved, huge improved compared to the previous model. And that's, that's uh, uh, noticeable for all passengers. In this. So they can, uh, they can uh, enjoy the uh, the space in the in the CX-5 without stress. So that's, that's, I think, the most, I cannot say important, but it's noticeable. Okay. 
And this is one of the first changes I noticed. It's really quiet inside the CX-5. There is no wind noise, no tire noise. Only when you rev the engine, then you start hearing some noise. But this is a pleasant noise, actually. <laughs> Mazda promises 15% greater stiffness compared to the previous generation. Interestingly enough, the previous generation was also supposed to be more stiff, but Mazda never said what was the benchmark. More rigid chassis helps reduce delays in steering response and were to test it better than on a twisty road. For a crossover, the new Mazda CX-5 is great to drive. The gearbox has a short throw. It's very precise gears engage easily. If I had to complain about something, it's the steering ratio. In tight bends, I have to turn the wheel more than I would expect from a vehicle which otherwise handles very much like a sports car. An interesting new feature is the G-Vectoring Control, which is part of Sky Active Vehicle Dynamics Package. The system ensures integrated control of engine, gearbox and chassis behavior, and it optimizes weight on each of the wheels by controlling torque. In a language humans can understand, it means GVC cuts torque for a split second early in the band, thus putting more weight on the front axle and increasing traction. Then it transfers weight to the rear axle for stability. I'm completely unaware of GVC doing its job, so I feel like a driving champion. Which is interesting, because many drivers don't need advanced electronics to feel that way. Under the bonnet are two and 2.5 liter petrol engines and a 2.2 liter diesel. All engines meet Euro 6 emission standards and are available with manual or automatic gearboxes, front wheel drive or all wheel drive. The 2.5 liter Skyactiv G1 Plus 2.5 is now available only with automatic gearbox and all wheel drive. It is equipped with cylinder deactivation system which cuts off two cylinders when engine load is low. This car is powered by a 2 liter 160 horsepower engine. You have to rev it high to get the most of it. Peak torque is 208 newton meters at 4000 rpm. However, regardless of how hard I push it, fuel economy remains between 8.5 and 9.5 liters per 100 kilometers, which is decent. New Mazda CX-5 also has numerous safety systems and driver aids. Adaptive cruise control now works below 30 km per hour, thanks to the use of radar as well as a camera. There is also traffic sign recognition, emergency brake assist, new 12-module LED lights, lane assist and attention monitoring system. Prices of the new Mazda CX-5 start at €25,000. Top trim model with a 2-liter petrol engine, all-wheel drive and an automatic transmission costs around thirty eight grand. Changes in the CX-5 are hard to spot to the naked eye, but as Kodama-san explained to me, what changed is the expression of the soul of motion. First generation expressed rhythm, and second generation expresses speed. And how do you like the new Mazda CX-5? Do you think it really looks like a new generation or rather a technological midlife cycle update? Let me know in the comments below, share, rate, subscribe and join me for a new review every Friday. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.